The north of Sri Lanka is a part of the island that has been through some of the most turbulent of times and right now is in the process of rebuilding itself. Now while this may not be evident through skyscrapers and urban development, it is evident where it really matters and that is in the development of the next generation. What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking you to explore the Yal Geek Challenge, one of the most inspiring events that I have seen in a very long time. It's no secret by now that Sri Lanka has been facing severe brain drain on the island due to a number of crises and issues it's faced in the past few decades. And although many may see it as an issue, Today we want to show you why we think it's a golden opportunity for the entire country to leap forward. Before I explain to you what the YAL Geek Challenge is, I have to introduce the YAL IT Hub. The YAL IT Hub is a community that is focused on developing technology, entrepreneurship and innovation in the North. And its success can be attributed to the fact that everyone that has benefited and moved through the YAL IT Hub always comes back to support and volunteer and give back to the community. What makes this initiative even more amazing is that since its inception, it has been entirely run and developed by volunteers and stakeholders of the IT industry, both in Sri Lanka and abroad. And considering the past that this part of the island has been through, it is extremely encouraging to see both the diaspora community and the local corporate sector come together to build this phenomenal development platform. The YAL Geek Challenge is the YAL IT Hub's longest initiative and it is also one of the longest running hackathons in Sri Lanka. They also support idea or pre-idea stage individuals to start their journey. Today, 13 years since the inception of YGC, there are over 90 companies that have been able to launch their businesses with their support. So right now we are with Sayanthan who is one of the founding members of YGC. What was the vision when you guys started YGC? In a post-war era, what we wanted to do was create a system through which we could empower the community to rebuild lives. So we thought technology, innovation and entrepreneurship are the key components which can transform the community. So that's the idea that we put out. We really didn't know how to get started. Over time, a lot of people around the world sort of started volunteering and coming together. So today, it has grown into something far bigger. The event, which culminates from the ground up from rural parts of northern Sri Lanka, sees all the participants come together for the final two days of the expo in Jaffna. And on these two days, the expo is open to the public and has a whole host of activities and workshops going on for a variety of stakeholders. Experiential learning like pottery and weaving, both of which are dying industries and being able to really touch and feel and experience these in real life might encourage them to pick it up again. Extremely valuable masterclasses, for example this one is for teachers on how to use generative AI in teaching. So today is the first day of YGC's Science Festival and it is super exciting because today is the one where all the school kids are participating in their finals. So what's happening behind us is the finals of the 13 school educational zones in the Northern District. And if you, all, if you like me wondered how did these kids create such very inspiring and amazing looking projects, it's YGC that actually inspires them to do this and take part in the competition as well. In the weeks leading up to the event, the local volunteers at YGC travel all around the northern province and encourage the local schools to participate in the program by getting their kids to explore their creativity and innovation through the frameworks they have built. It was amazing for us to see how eager and passionate all the kids were to be here at the festival and to be able to showcase their projects to the panel. Nanga send the project water level indicator. That's the Nira Mande, Vin Virema Hasekratakum, near Sikana Maharikratakum, Nanga say the Kundram. Nanga send the Obahana Mande hydraulic break, Nanga and Obahana application of science and a category less in Janang. In the Obahana Mande, a pretty tolid padapohudanda, in the motor road and battery or emanaka padanang, Ali and Nanga on Panaka, in the Silla Suradam, the Sural and the Silla Nipatrakapa, hydraulic break. Nanga and the Paimatodida Mudivra. Piston Adatra Mulam in any Padatelam. 
இது வந்து நாங்க பெரிய பைக் போர்ட்ஸ்ல இந்த சிஸ்டத்தை இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் பண்ணிக்க பெரிய பைக் போர்ட்ஸ்ல நார்மல் டஸ்டரால யூஸ் பண்ணிக்க டைம் அண்ட் எனர்ஜி வேஸ்ட் ஆகும் இதையே நாங்க ஒரு ரிமோட் கண்ட்ரோலர் பயன்படுத்தியோ அல்லது ஒரு பட்டனை ப்ரெஸ் பண்றதாலயோ அட் அ டைம்ல கிளீன் பண்ணக்கூடியதால இருக்கதால டைமையும் எனர்ஜியையும் சேவ் பண்ணி கொள்ளலாம் லேசார் செக்யூரிட்டி சிஸ்டம் இது வந்து சுற்றி வேற லைட் அடிக்கும் இது வந்து தாவரங்களுக்கு தானாகவே தண்ணி அடிச்சுக்கணும் சூரிய ஒளி மூலம் தண்ணி வருது I am just really happy to see the effort that's been taken to inspire these kids and to give them the resources that they need to bring in their natural creativity. I mean one thing we were discussing is that even some of the seniors here are sometimes surprised by how innovative the young people think when it comes to solving a problem that already exists and I can't imagine what kind of future we would have as a country why where we would be in like 50 years. It would be absolutely amazing. 13 years ago when we had the first junior competition we had 13 teams competing last month we had 499 year on year growth was 30% that's amazing and this didn't happen by accident yeah. the community came together we designed programs for rural engagement right. so we have engagement from all the rural places of the northern province yes. now participating which yeah. is which is very promising for the future, future yes behind me what you see are the mentorship workshops in progress this is a really important part of ygc because this is where some of the startups that have been shortlisted by ygc they all get to come in and meet with these mentors who are like top professionals from around the island as well as from around the world in certain industries and they get to run their ideas their businesses and um, their plans through with these professionals and and these mentors and really get valuable invaluable feedback on how they can grow and develop at this very early stage Okay so today is day 3 we are back here at YGC and we just shot the intro and <laughs> I'm still sick I'm still sick but today is the day we are shooting a bulk of the content for the main video so we are running around uh, trying to get all our shots Over the past few years of attending YGC one of the things that really caught our attention was the amount of support it received from leaders within the industry both in Sri Lanka and abroad be it senior execs from Google and Microsoft to founders and CEOs of local tech giants everyone makes time in their calendar to come out here and to give back and invest in the future generations of innovators here in Sri Lanka yeah uh, hey guys i'm from uh, a place called nelledi currently i'm living in canada i'm a systems engineer senior systems engineer i do consulting on the it side of things right a huge potential here potential yeah. so i'm i'm here to offer things which i never had before yeah. right? as whether it's technology mentorship wise um uh, knowledge that we gain from Working the other abroad, side yes. abroad yeah. and uh, you know sometimes even chit chatting you yeah. know it, sp- it sparks a yeah. great idea right uh, there are some you know pitfalls here and there obviously yeah. we have to work on it uh, facilities uh, you know simple things like internet um, what we enjoy as a luxury over there yeah it's uh, a basic it's a basic basic necessity we are still having a bit of a challenge here and there yeah. i met some of the greatest project managers mm. like these are kids today mm. give another 5 years the experience what they are ga- gaining mm. it's going to be amazing amazing right. in more recent times ygc have paved the way for summer internships for sri lankan dads who are living abroad to come and get involved in gaining insights into life in jaffna today and giving back to their community through voluntary service Throughout the festival we witnessed a number of youth conducting workshop and master classes for the benefit of those who were present So hey I'm a student from Jaffna Hindu and I attended the session of engaging storytelling and content creating with the resource person called Shanella and I am really one of her fans from the YouTube and I have my own channel and this workshop helped me a lot uh, she gave me tons of information and ideas about career content creating and it really helped me a lot So now we've got the summer interns here with us and I'm really curious to know what it means for you guys to be here and taking part and helping out with YGC like we're volunteering in like re- like robotics and like business things and like everything like that so it's a good learning experience honestly it's a good experience because i feel like living abroad i don't know the impact and struggles that people go through here so coming here and experiencing like 
the minds of like these little kids and seeing what they're innovating, it, it's a very good experience for me and learning about what's happening here as a city and as a country. Yeah, and I'm also really, really grateful to have this experience to be able to come back and help my community um, in a way that I wouldn't have been able to do back home in Canada and kind of kind of going outside of that bubble that I existed in Canada and seeing the struggles here and seeing the help that is needed here and the enthusiasm that everyone has since they want to improve the community and they want to spread their culture, that's also part of like the amazing experience that I've been having here. Next, we step into the Yal Geek Challenge Art Gallery, a vibrant showcase of creativity and culture. From sculptures to paintings, each piece reflects our rich heritage and the talent within the Yal IT Hub community. This is the University and Institute exhibition area. So this is where the different faculties get a chance to showcase their innovations and inventions here at YGC. winner of YGC. Jay, can you tell us a little bit about what you were doing at the time and what made you take part in YGC? Yeah, it's 13 years ago I did my A-level and then selected to Morato University. That's the time this war ends and I have a passion that I should come back to Jaffna and do something in my own, which I don't know what should I do. But these people started, then we also came from uh, Morato to here when we were doing our last year. Uh, that's the first year this A9 was first open and then we, we didn't even have the roads there, it's just sand and all, we came in the CTP bus. They were telling that they are going to encourage innovation, they are going to create companies throughout Jaffna and have an ecosystem, this is their dream plan. So it was interesting then, it was syncing with what we were thinking, that we have to study whatever our higher studies, we have to get all the uh, world class experiences and then we want to do something, come back to Jaffna and do something from here. Because we believe knowledge is everywhere. Everybody has the access to the same level of time and resources that you have. So why can't we do whatever we are doing from Singapore, US, Canada, from Jaffna, so that we can enhance our society's lifestyle. This is the goal that I was thinking. Every year we come back to Yal IT Hub and then we get connections from uh, this Yal IT Hub network. There are a lot of people from this uh, US, Canada and, 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 and all the places and they were encouraging us to do something. Uh, they were telling me, quit my job and come back to Jaffna. And then especially Ramoshan was telling me, why don't you do something here? I will pay you whatever the salary you are getting in. Colombo. Then I started with the Moolai Hospital, that's in Jaffna, cooperative hospital in the rural area. So this is the first project we have done in 2017, I think. So I see there is a big gap and then I talk with some of the big hospitals in Sri Lanka and back in 2019 and that's where this Arogya concept started. So right now Arogya is a smart hospital platform which covers end-to-end -end workflows of the hospital and we are running the platform in more than 20 hospitals right now in Sri Lanka and uh, we have around 30 people in our company and then are making a lot of profit now. That's amazing, congratulations. Yeah. Now it's time for an event that everyone has been waiting for during this festival and that is the cultural event and it's happening at the auditorium here behind me. Everyone's coming in, they're all filing in and we're very excited to see what they put on for us. As we dive deeper and deeper in our content creation journey, one thing we've come to learn is that at the core of development and preservation of a community and its beliefs lies the arts and the profound impact it has had over a millennia. Our island has suffered a terrible loss in this regards as the arts have been neglected and overlooked for more pressing issues of the times. However, today, it's so lovely to see the arts of Sri Lanka prosper both locally and internationally, and to us, it is an encouraging sign of prosperity to come for our beautiful island nation. Yesterday we have around 8,000 to 10,000 school students are coming. Yeah. So where are they are going to go? Yeah. So you always have next generations coming in. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter this generation they are going, leaving and yeah. all. There are a lot of people there. There yeah. are a lot of people doing. Yeah. Only thing is where you set the standards yeah. from the school to the university, yeah. right? 
So maybe you will be seeing 100 people moving for better lifestyle, yes. but there are 100,000 people still passing out Sorry. from the schools. Yes. What they are doing? How we can find them and bring another mm. society here? So I see that's what we should do more and more. And then to show a framework, not for northern part of Sri Lanka, wherever in the world, there are communities that you can build like this. Yes. They ask, are you from Jaffna? Oh, so from where you will get more engineers? Mm. So now I say, you come and see YG's Innovation Festival. And they're happy. Yeah. If you watch this video up until this point, I don't have to tell you in a very specific way how amazing I think this event is, the impact that it has had on the society thus far, and the impact that it's going to have in the future. However, there is another takeaway that I would like to share with you that I personally have understood. While we're experiencing one of the largest brain drains the country has experienced up to date in recent times, there's also something else to keep in mind when I look at the value that this event and the value that the diaspora community is bringing into this event. And that is that even if people do leave for better opportunities, for more exposure, for better earnings, there is still value in those people if they do come back and share their expertise, share their knowledge and share the things that they have learned with the next generation in Sri Lanka. It only enhances the opportunities that the next generation has and there is so much that can be done simply by giving back and sharing with the next generation. So I just think that that's such a wonderful thing that I have seen through this event and I see that as a solution to our brain drain. Maybe that our brain drain is not something we need to try and fix, but maybe we need to engage with the people who have left and ask them to come back and give back to their communities respectively. Because if there's one thing that goes for all Sri Lankans, it is that when we leave and when we go abroad, wherever we are, Sri Lankans do shine in whatever industry and whatever jobs that they're doing. There's just something special about Sri Lankans. And I think that there's so much value that all these Sri Lankans abroad can give back. And I think that holding hands and joining hands and going forward together is the way forward. So with that, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found massive value in this. I hope you come and visit the YGC next year. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. So right now we are with one of the most important people in Jaffna, at least to us. Sivana is the one who takes us everywhere yeah. and connects us with everything. He is the one we have to interview the most, but he is telling us no interview that person, that person. No, like those that have more experience yeah. than me. Do you enjoy coming with us, Jenny? Yes, yes, yes. That. Thanks, thanks a lot, Siva, for thank your you. effort. We are very grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Take this and go now. <laughs>